What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Daniel, the Passive Cash Stacker, and today we're going to jump into how to do auto-responding on your personal FB profile. Now, there are a lot of programs out there that do auto-responding, that do messaging back and forth, but it is only for business pages and profiles. It is not for your personal FB profile. So today we're going to show you exactly how to do that, respond to keywords, respond by tags, and have automatic responses today. So let's go ahead and dive in, and I'll show you exactly how it works. First of all, if you saw this video on the first page of YouTube or Google ranked and you want to know how I did that, check my course below and I show you step by step everything I do in every video campaign so that I can get top rankings. Now let's dive into the content. So our friend is actually called Genius Bot. So Genius Bot, we're going to go ahead and click on the extension. So we'll install it. We're gonna come down here. We're gonna go ahead and click the little pin here so that it is up in our dashboard. You click on it and then you log in. This will be our little friend right here telling us he's ready to start auto-responding for us. So we will have our profile here. If not, you're gonna go ahead and refresh it. You're gonna go ahead and turn it on when you're all done. So first, we're gonna come up here to the right-hand corner, click the four buttons for our settings. And then in our settings, we're gonna have regular settings and delay settings. So we have the dashboard, of course, and then we have our regular settings. So we're gonna go ahead and dive in there. So there are two different kind of responses. We have an autoresponder that is based on tags and keywords. Super powerful. Right? So we can get rid of all the people asking about crypto. We can get rid of all the people trying to get us to promote JV products, or we can automatically respond for our products. So if we have a specific product and we say respond with this keyword, uh, when you send us a message, we can automatically send them the link. We can automatically send them the page, the information, and we don't have to do it. We can be on the beach, spending time with the family at the pool, all of that kind of good stuff. Or we can do a default message. So whenever somebody messages us, then we have the ability to just automatically send a message like, hey, thanks for sending me a message. Let me get right back to you in a little bit, right? So let's go into the autoresponder first. With the autoresponder, we can have message settings, which is segments and groups. So if we want to do an autoresponder, we can do an autoresponder with keywords and then the text that we're going to use or we can use a message group. So the first way that we can do it is we can just call this, say, let's call this crypto. So anybody who tries to talk to us about crypto. And so we will say our main keyword is crypto. And then let's say our next keyword is cryptocurrency. Let's do hashtag crypto. And hashtag cryptocurrency. We'll hit enter. Now we're going to send a text message. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and call them out by first name, last name. So let's go ahead and put in my message here. So if we don't want to spin the message, we don't think we're going to get a lot of messages about this and we don't worry about FB blocking us, then we can just have a single message in here. So what I have is no thanks. And then I'm going to go ahead and put in their first name. No thanks, first name. So it'll call them out. I've ridden that donkey for the last time. I found a much better way to make large commissions. And then what I could do is I could come in here and I could put a link for whatever I'm promoting. So if they want to make large commissions, they want to make a lot of money with crypto, maybe they'll be interested in that. But right here, we're just going to go ahead and save that autoresponder. So now if somebody does the keywords crypto, no, cryptocurrency, hashtag crypto or hashtag cryptocurrency, it's automatically going to send this with their name call out in there. So hopefully they'll leave us alone. Now, if they are belligerent and they keep badgering us about wanting to sign up for their program, we can block them. But this is an initial way to be able to send the message to say, no, we are not interested and maybe get them to convert on one of our offers. So we can go ahead and update that. So this is our first autoresponder. Now, if we want to go ahead and spin this, we think that we're going to get a lot of messages about a specific idea, product, keyword, tag, whatever. Then we can go ahead and do message settings and we'll create segments and groups. Now, what a segment is, is one section of a whole group. So a segment is going to be like, hi, hello, how are you? Greetings. That's going to be the first part of the message. And then we'll have the second part, like their name. No, I'm not interested in. And then we can spin it, have a second segment like crypto or cryptocurrency. And then we can put a third part for the second part of our message. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll create a new segment and we'll say that this is the greeting segment. And so what we're going to say is, hi, first name, add. Okay. Hello, first name, add. Greetings, first name, add. Right. And so what this is going to do is it's going to vary every single time that it fires so that it's going to be a unique message so that we don't get flagged. And it says, oh, this is a unique message they're sending out. It's not getting sent out too much. So this must be a unique message sent from the user themselves. So we got hi, hello, greeting. And that is actually not the correct word. We want to say greetings when we say greetings or greetings and salutations. 
greetings, first name, space, at. And then for me, since I live in Texas, I always like to say howdy. <laughs> that catches people off guard. So we'll say howdy, first name. And then another one some people like to say is good day, first name. So we've got lots and lots of variations for our greeting segment. So we're going to go ahead and save our message segment. So we have our greeting and it's got five individualized blocks. So then what we're going to do is we're going to set up a crypto segment. So we're going to say create new. And then this one is going to be for crypto. All right. And then we're going to say add another block. And then what we're going to say is, okay, no thanks. I've ridden that donkey for the last time. And then what we can do is we can do a space and then we can say, I found a much better way than crypto to make large commissions. And then I can put my link. Now you see here where I have crypto. So I can go ahead and copy this and I will add this one as a crypto. Now what I can do is I'm going to add another block and instead of crypto, I'm going to say cryptocurrency. So it's going to make it different. Right? And then we're going to add this. Now, what we could do is if we wanted, we could either add our link to this box here, or we can have another segment that has like a spinning offer. So we can have three different offers that we're putting in. We could pump it out to different people. So if they message us multiple times about crypto, then maybe we could present them with a couple of offers that might convert for them. And it's keeping them at bay automated. Right? Let's go ahead and save this segment. So right now we have a greeting and we have a crypto thing. So now what we could do is we could say, hi ticket link and so we can have our high ticket link and then whatever our high ticket link is we could go ahead and have that in here so we'll go ahead and say space our link and we'll say add so we'll have our high ticket link and we'll save the message so now when we go into groups we can create a group and this one will be no on crypto and so what we're going to do is we're going to insert message seg message segments. Now we can insert a message segment, a static text, or a specific keyword like crypto, hashtag crypto, stuff like that. So we could put our greeting and then we can add. I always like to add a space. So a static text on a space. And then we're going to add a message segment. We're going to say crypto. So no on the crypto. So we're going to add that. And then we are going to add a static text. I always like to add a space. And then we're going to add one more. We're going to add a message segment and we're going to have our high ticket link. So we're going to have the greeting. No, we don't want anything to do with crypto. And we're going to have the link. So we found better ways to make commissions. Here's our link. Check it out. So we're going to save this message group. So when we go into response settings, we have this crypto one here, but we can also create a new one. We can create an, so we can say spun crypto. And then with the spun crypto, we can put the same things like crypto, enter, cryptocurrency. enter and then hashtag crypto and hashtag cryptocurrency. So if any of these are put into a message to us inside of our messenger, then we can select the other option, which is message group. And so we'll say, which message group do we want? No on crypto. No, I'm not interested. First name. I found better ways to make money. Here's my link. So we can go ahead and select that. And then we're going to activate this autoresponder, save autoresponder. So now we have two autoresponders. We have the regular one, and we have the spun one. So since they have the same keywords, we want to turn one off and we want to keep one on. And then we can go ahead and test those. Now you can set up as many different triggers as you want here. So like for me, I'm going to set up a trigger for my YouTube ranking course, vid rank cash. So anytime that someone says YouTube ranking or ranking videos or vid rank cash, it'll automatically say, oh, hey, here's the information on my video ranking course, vid rank cash. And it'll have a link so that I can automatically send out information about my courses, my extension, the different products that I am promoting. You can have a hundred different triggers in here. And if someone puts one of those words in the trigger, it automatically messages them back, saves you time so you can be at the beach or be at the pool with your family. So the last part that we can do here is the default message. Now, this is a default message. You can also do message group or text message. And you could say something like, thanks for reaching out. I'm a little busy right now. And then you could say, thanks for reaching out and then have their first name. Thanks for reaching out, first name. I'm a little busy right now, but if you let me know what you need, I'll get right back to you. And so the great thing about this, if you have a default message, I'll get right back to you, right? If you have a default message 
and then they message you back with one of the triggers that you have the default message that says, hey, so and so, I know you're here. They're hot. They want to talk. I know you're here. I'm a little busy, but let me know what you want to talk about and I'll get right back to you. And if they say one of your triggers, then you can automatically respond with the link, with the info, or if they're trying to get you on crypto, say, no, I'm not interested. So this is really good because you can greet them. And then we want to say the time interval. So we don't want to be busting this out over and over. So if they message us and then they message back. So I'll say two hours so that in between, if they don't message me in between that two hours and they message again, it'll send this default message. So we can go ahead and save this. And so how we have it set up now is our default message. We'll go ahead and reach out to them and say, thanks for reaching out. First name. I'm a little busy right now, but let me know what you need and I'll get right back. And so as soon as they say that, they will have the opportunity to respond to any of the things that we have. YouTube ranking, spun crypto, extension, or reseller, or whatever kind of triggers that you have, or any kind of products that you promote. If they say one of those keywords, then it'll automatically respond and make you money while you are away. Because you want to jump on prospects when they are hot, when they're trying to give you money. So if you can instantly get them a link while you're out, saves you time, makes you more money. Making more money is fun. So once we're all done with this, then we come up to the top and we're gonna go ahead and turn this on so that anytime that somebody is going to message us, then we can go ahead and have that set up. So remember, we have our default message. It's automatically going to message them back. And if they say any of our trigger words, then it's gonna automatically message them with the content we want or the link we want to make money without spending time. Now you'll see over here to the left, there will actually be two little browser windows. One will be a mobile browser window and one will be a regular messenger browser window. So if you are having issues on your computer or your browser with either the mobile or the messenger view, it opens up both of them so that it has the ability to respond to make sure that you're not blocked on either one of them or you're not having issues and it'll say right here genius bot is using this tab please don't close it so just don't mess with it let it do its thing so that when people message you it will automatically send information back so that it can keep your life so one more fun setting before we actually have some fun and do some testing we have one other setting here that says delay setting so you can go and click that delay setting and when you click the delay setting you will have the opportunity here to either delay minutes or hours now exactly how this is going to work if somebody sends us in a message into the messenger you can have no delay at all so instantly it will send a response back to their answer and then if we want a delay we can delay by one minute so they send in a message it waits for a minute and then it sends a reply or you can wait for 23 minutes or you can wait for an hour and 23 minutes you can have any of that if you want to have the delay you just click delay on and it will wait in between each response however many hours and however many minutes you want. If you don't want any delays, you can just reset this to zero or you can turn it off and there will be zero delays and give instantaneous responses to the people trying to give you money and to have interactions with you.